Hey, what's up guys, Skylar Thomas here. If you haven't seen the trailer to the Murder on the Orient Express, it has some really cool title effects that we're gonna be learning how to create today. So, let's check out what we're about to create. First things first, we're going to hop into After Effects. Now there's a few things you may need um, to get started here that you might not have. I'm going to go over those real quick. Uh, the first is Gotham font. That is the font that I found most closely resembled the uh, font from the trailer for the Murder on the Orient Express, which is what we're trying to kind of emulate here. Uh, what I did is I just went on Google, I searched free Gotham font, and I downloaded Gotham Thin. That is the one you want. The other things that I'm going to have you download are two free plugins that you can get from Andrew Kramer and Video Copilot, um, one of which is called FX Console. It kind of just allows you to quickly speed up your workflow by hitting Control Spacebar to add effects. Uh, the other of which is called Saber, another free plugin from them. It's a, an effect that allows you to uh, create lightsabers, to create cool effects with masks and with text. Um, there's other ways that we could kind of stylize the text that would be pretty easy too, but this plugin is so awesome that I kind of want to force everybody to download it because I use it all the time and I think it's great. So uh, those uh, links are in the description. Download those and we'll all be good to go. To get started, I've got this footage. Uh, basically, I just shot this footage in my apartment, highlighting a few different things that I could attach these titles to, one of which you can see is my roommate right there. The other is my Zoom H6 that I record audio on, my guitar, tripod, skateboard, and snowboard. So uh, just make sure that before you bring that footage that you shoot into After Effects, you kind of color correct it and have it looking the way you want it to look for the final output, because once you add in those titles, uh, color correcting it is going to be a little bit trickier uh, you'll change the way those titles look. So color correct it first, bring it into After Effects, and what we're going to do is create a new comp from that selection. And I guess we'll just rename that something like Floating Titles. And from there, we'll go down, we'll highlight our footage. We can use that FX console to bring up our effect that we want to use, which is the 3D Camera Tracker. And of course, you can just go to your effects and presets panel if you don't feel like downloading the FX console. So what that's going to be doing is it's going to be analyzing our footage, basically to create tons of different tracking points that we can attach those titles to. So while that's analyzing in the background, we're going to continue our work. So what we're going to do is create a new composition. We're going to call this title one, because this is where we're going to be creating our first stylized title. Uh, 1920 by 1080 is fine. Background color black is fine. Uh, yours might look transparent. Uh, you could just toggle in between uh, transparent transparency grid if you want by clicking this button. And the first thing we'll do is go to our text tool. Make sure that we have Gotham Thin selected, and we're just going to be calling out the first uh, title that we're going to create was my roommate, so we're going to call it the roommate. I'm keeping those all capitals. And from here, we can kind of play around with how that looks. Uh, I kind of want to change that a little bit. You know what, that actually doesn't look that bad. Maybe like 95, something like that. We can go to uh, 
maybe something like negative 50 here to kind of squish it a little bit closer together. And you know what we'll do? Um, we'll bump that up a little bit in size, maybe to like 110. That looks all right. And the D was a bit smaller if you look at the... Uh, Murder on the Orient Express, so we'll kind of just make that one smaller. I think that looks pretty good. 72 works fine. And there we have our text. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a new solid. And we're just going to put our Saber effect on that, so we'll call it Saber. Uh, white background is fine. And we will add our Saber effect. And what that does, as you can see, is it creates this cool kind of lightsaber in the middle here. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is go to Customize Core. It's set at Saber, but we're going to set it to Text Layer. And then we're going to set that to our text that we just created called the Roommate. And you can see it applies it to the text. That's a little bit heavy, so we're going to drop down the Glow Intensity to 20%. That looks fine. Our glow spread and probably our glow bias, kind of like the light fall off is what we're going to play with next. I'm going to drop uh, down the glow spread maybe to 0.04. That really kind of puts it right onto the text. The glow bias, we're going to drop that down as well. Hmm. Maybe up a bit more. 0.18 looks fine. And here we're going to actually just drop down the core size to kind of make it all a little bit more thin. I'm going to bring it down all the way to like 0.6. Looks pretty good to me. And one last thing I'm going to do is change under the render settings under alpha mode. This is kind of just going to Put, it, put the glow right into the text a little bit more by doing mass core. As you can see, it kind of just makes it a bit more subtle, less glowy. I think it looks a bit more like the uh, text from the uh, Murder on the Orient Express. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't think we need to do much else, but um, what I am going to talk about real quickly is some of the other things you can do. If you want to stylize this text differently, um, the, the whole point is to kind of make your own thing. We're, we're not trying to replicate what they did on the Orient Express trailer. We're just trying to emulate it and kind of make our own style. So if you want to do that, what's awesome about this particular uh, effect is you can change it very easily in the presets. So if you wanted to make it something like the Patronus, which gives it this really cool smoky effect, you could do uh, Pulse. You could do Fire. There's all sorts of really cool presets that you can play with. And from there, you can kind of mess with all the different settings. The important thing is to just kind of play around with it. Find something that really looks good to you and uh, go from there. I'm just going to undo that real quickly to get back to where we were at. And we are all set there. Next, we are going to go back to our floating titles and see if that is done analyzing. It looks like it just got done analyzing. So what you're going to do, in case it's unselected, uh, highlight that footage select the 3D camera tracker, and what you're going to see is all these different tracking points that After Effects creates. And what we're going to do is take one of those tracking points that we think is pretty close to where we want to uh, attach our title, highlight that, right-click it, and go to Create Solid and Camera. So what that is going to do is it's going to attach a solid to that tracking point. And what we're going to do is go to pre-compose, and we're going to call this the roommate, since that is our first title. Leave all attributes in floating titles is fine. And now we've got our own composition with that track solid. We can even just delete that track solid. What we're going to do is go up to composition settings and change that to 1920 by 1080 since that's what we are working in. And now, if we go to our project and drop in our first title, we can go back to our main 
uh, footage, and you're going to see that it is actually placed that uh, composition right into our footage, and it's tracking it. Pretty cool. Now to get rid of that black, what we're going to do is change our mode to screen. And now we're going to scale it up a little bit because it's a bit small here. I'm going to scale it up to whatever it really feels right to you, but to me, maybe something like 426. That looks good. And from here, we can play around with it a bit by changing the orientation to kind of something that looks right to us, make it look a little bit more even within our footage. So it's facing the camera a bit more. That looks pretty good to me. You can even do the rotation if one of the rotation looks off to you. And then we can move it, our position. I kind of like to move it here with these arrows. Once it says X, I can move it along that plane. And we'll kind of place it by his head. I don't want it to be covering his head, but pretty close to it. And that's going to keep the title right there as it moves through. So as we go in, I honestly would kind of have it be a little bit even closer to us. So I'm just going to hit the Z axis and kind of bring it this way. So now you can see, and maybe a little bit further closer to his head. Cool. That looks pretty good to me. Next, we are going to go back to our footage, go into effects and highlight the tracker so that we see all those tracking points. And we're going to track onto the Zoom H6. So let's pick one of the tracking points that is attached there. We're going to right click and click Create Solid. Just as we did before, we are going to pre-compose that solid, leave all attributes in, but we're going to call this Zoom H6. Click OK. And now we have our composition where we can delete that track solid. And once again, we're going to go to composition settings, change them to 1920 by 1080. And what we need to do now is take that first title that we created and duplicate it by clicking, uh, doing Control D or Command D, depending on if you're a PC or Mac. That's going to create a new title there. It's a replica. And what we're going to do is simply change this to what we want it to say with the same styling. We're going to call it Zoom H6. Perfect. Now we can go back to that comp we made, Zoom H6, and just drop that in. Looks good. We're going to go to our footage once again and do the same thing. We're going to change the mode to screen. And then we're going to kind of play around with the orientation real quickly until it looks, well, first, I guess we'll scale it up to what we had with the original title, which was 426, I believe. That looks good. And now we change our orientation until it looks the way we want it to look within our footage. Nope, not going to do that one. And now play around with the positioning until it hits kind of right where you want it to hit. If you want it to be a little closer, a little more further away, you can do the Z axis. I think it looks pretty good where it is. And now we can see how that looks as it pans by. Perfect. So now we've got our two. And basically, you're going to be repeating that process right throughout. So you're going to be highlighting the footage, going to effects, 3D camera tracker, picking out one of the tracking points that is kind of attached to the guitar where you roughly want it to be, and doing the same thing over again. So I'm going to cut forward until we have all of these done, and you will see the finished product. All right, guys, we're all finished. We have attached our floating titles to each one of the points, and you can kind of see how that looks. Pretty cool. So 
At this point, we're pretty much all done. If you want to do any tweaks, if you want to change the way the titles look at all, you can kind of do that right now. Maybe you want to throw on like a curves effect and just kind of see if you want it to be a little darker, maybe have a little more glow. You can kind of add that kind of lightness to it under the RGB. And then if you want to maybe change the blue, make it a little bit darker blue. I think that, that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit less of that glow. Cool. That looks pretty good to me. Um, one thing you can do here is copy that effect. Make sure it looks consistent across all of them. And you're pretty much all ready to take this composition, bring it into Premiere. You can pick out some music for it. You can add some crop bars on it if you want it to look a bit more cinematic. There's a lot of really cool things you can use this effect for. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy thing to create. It doesn't take that much time. Uh, if you guys got something out of this, please hit like, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel because I am going to be doing a lot of tutorials on some very cool effects, some very cool camera techniques, some very cool editing techniques and all of that. So hit subscribe and I will see you at the next video.